Good morning everyone. My name is Lalit Soni and I welcome you all in the news on map episode number 2 India segment. In this episode we will be discussing about the locations which were in news last week and we will also see some uh, communities and their countries. Uh, we will see some national parks and their locations and we will also discuss Yamuna and Krishna river basin in this episode. So, let us start with the practice question which was given in the last class. Recently, ancient Sabhyanagar temple also known as Nataraj temple has been in use. Consider the following statement about this temple. Temple is located in Andhra Pradesh. While solving such questions, you have to give special attention to these locations. Okay. Second statement is the temple enjoyed the patronage of different rulers under Pala dynasty, Chola dynasty, Vijayanagar empire and Naika kings. Your options are given. So, this temple was in use. This article was there in Hindu. Okay. So, since it is in news, location of this temple becomes important. The ancient Sabhyanagar temple, also known as Nataraj temple, is situated in Chidambaram in Kadalore district of Tamil Nadu. So, here you have to remember this. This is in Tamil Nadu, Kadalore. It was built in 10th century by Chola kings and this enjoyed the patronage of different rulers, including Simhavarman or Pallava dynasty, Aditya I of Chola, Krishna Devaraya of Vijayanagar Empire, and Naika kings. So, this is about the temple. Uh, this is the picture of the temple you can see. Uh, it is a Dravidian architecture. So, let us uh, see the statements again. The temple is located in Andhra Pradesh. I told you to give special attention to these locations. It is in Tamil Nadu. So, statement 1 is wrong. The temple enjoyed the patronage of different rulers under Pallavas, Cholas, Vijayanagar, and Naikas. This statement is correct. So, your answer would be B, only 2. So, let us start with the question number 1 of this episode. So, recently we know that Chandrayaan 3 was launched on uh, 14th of July. Okay. And it is supposed to land on uh, moon's surface on 23rd of August. So, we are waiting for that date. Till then, ISRO launched the third lunar mission, Chandrayaan 3, from Sri Harikota, which is situated next to which of the following lake. So, there are a few lakes given. We have to know that Sri Harikota is situated near to which one. Options are Kolar Lake, Polikat Lake. Silica and Lonar Lake. So, let us see. Here you can take a note of few lakes in India which are famous. Okay. So, locations of our options are Lonar Lake, this is in Maharashtra, then you can see here Koleru Lake, this is in Andhra Pradesh, then Pulikat Lake, it is on the boundary of Tamil Nadu and your Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So, it is here. And then uh, this is Tilika Lake. This is in Odisha. This is the largest salt water lake in India. Okay. Besides this, you can remember these Pengongsu Lake, and then you can also remember Loktak Lake because since Manipur is also in news, and Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh area is also in news because of the insurgents and the Chinese part. So these are the few lakes which you can take note of. So let's see Sriharikota, the spaceport. This is the port from where space satellites and rockets are being launched. Okay. So, here you can see that this is a Pulikat Lake. This is some part is in Tamil Nadu, most of it in Andhra Pradesh, and this is the location of Sri Harikota. So, you can say this is nearby the Pulikat Lake. Okay. So, let us see the question again. Uh, Sri Harikota situated next to which of the following lake? Options is Kolar, Pulikat, Chilika, and Luna. We have seen it. Pulikat Lake is the answer. Let us move ahead. In the recent monsoon rains, the water level of Yamuna reached above the danger mark. We have seen some flood like situations in Delhi. Water was on the roads. Okay. And many uh, areas of North India has witnessed heavy rains. Consider the following statement about river Yamuna. Okay. Yamuna is the second largest tributary of river Ganga. I told you give attention to these specific terms. Okay. Here are two things we, you can note, second largest and the Ganga river. Is it a tributary of Ganga or not? And if it is, then it is second largest or not. 
second statement is it originates from yamunotri glacier on the southern western slope of bandar pooch peak in the lower himalayas of uttarakhand okay third statement is yamuna flows through the state of uttarakhand haryana uttar pradesh and and city of delhi fourth statement is the important tributaries of yamuna river are tones chambal kosi betwa and kane so let's see so here you can see this is yamuna course of yamuna is this is bandar pooch this is uttarakhand and then yamuna flows through this then new delhi and uh, it uh, also flows through yamuna uh, hari yamuna nagar in haryana okay so delhi haryana it is on a border and then you can see it goes to your uttar pradesh then on allahabad we know that there is a sangam of yamuna with ganga okay these are some tributaries chambal sindh betwa kasan kane okay so let's move ahead so here are the states given uh, it start from the yamunotri that i told you in uttarakhand bandar pooch peak and then it goes through your haryana new delhi uttar pradesh okay and then it joins ganga yamuna river is the second largest tributary here you can see yamuna is the largest tributary okay so it joins ganga here in allahabad before that is the largest tributary of ganga so this statement is wrong then it originates from yamunotri glacier it is true southern west slopes of bandar pooch peak fine it is also true and this is in uttarakhand second statement is true third statement is yamuna flows through the states of uttarakhand we have seen that it starts from the uttarakhand and then haryana delhi and then it merges in uttar pradesh at prayagraj or you can say allahabad the important tributaries of yamuna river are tones chambal betwa and kane kosi is not a tributary of yamuna you know that kosi is also known as sorrow of bihar yamuna doesn't flow through bihar first hint is that second thing is kosi is tributary of ganga so basically statement 4 is wrong options are given only one statement only two statement you can see that two and three are correct so only two statement are true option correct option is b question number 3 mess list 1 and uh, with list 2 and select the correct answers uh, you have given in other list of reservoirs and dams and then rivers on the other side you can consider it a b c d 1 2 3 and 4 okay so these are some reservoirs given raja lakham gowda reservoir uh, naval tirth dam lal bahadur shastri reservoir and eduki dam you have to match with the following rivers these are your options so let's see basically uh, we have taken these questions because these three reservoir were uh, mentioned in the article from the hindu newspaper so and three of them are part of your krishna basin on different different rivers though but it forms part of krishna basin so river krishna becomes important for you so let's see this is your krishna basin here you can see that krishna starts from somewhere here in maharashtra mahabaleswar okay then it flows through various states and then it goes to your bay of bengal so here you can see the tributaries ghat prabha mal prabha tunga bhadra uh, varda koina bhima and there are few projects like nagarjuna sagar project it is in telangana okay then sri salam project it is also in telangana so uh, this becomes important for your exam you can remember these projects as well 
then if we see Iduki Dam, it is on the Periyar River. It is in Kerala. Okay, and here you can see there are other you know projects on the Periyar River. One is Iduki Reservoir, Mela Periyar, Mula Periyar Dam, Suruliyar hydropower projects. You can remember all these things. From your environment perspective, you can also remember Periyar Tiger Reserve is also in this area in Kerala. Okay. So, uh, this is the factual question. So, you can see the location of these Raja Lakham Goda Reservoir. It is on the Ghat Prabha River. Okay. And uh, Naval Tirth Dam jo hai, that is on Mal Prabha. Lal Bahadur Sastri Reservoir is on Krishna river and Iduki dam is on Periyar river. So, here you can see that so here you can see that A matches with 2, B matches with 4, C matches with 1, D matches with 3. So, your answer is 2413C. Okay. So, let us move ahead. Question number 4. Consider the following statement about Puno National Park. This is in news because of the death of few cheetahs around 6 of them died because of some infection. Under project cheetah, animals are translocated from forest of South Africa and Namibia to the Puno National Park. Okay, this is, this has been in news last year. It is situated in Maharashtra. We are discussing this because of these cheetahs are dying in the, uh, this particular national park. So, let us see. This is the location of your Puno National Park. It is in Madhya Pradesh. Okay. These are some other, you know, protected areas in Madhya Pradesh. There are around 10 national parks in Madhya Pradesh. Puno was earlier a wildlife sanctuary. It became national park in 2018. So, there are few other uh, important national parks uh, which you can remember uh, like Satpura and then Panch Tiger Reserve, Kana Tiger Reserve. Okay, so Panna Tiger Reserve. This is important because uh, there is a cane, Betwa, uh, river link project. So, this form part of uh, this goes through this particular tiger reserve as well. This is also has been in news recently. So, you can see other protected areas here. Important for your uh, this discussion, it was important. Kuno, and you should remember that when it converted into a national park. So, here I told you this was in news, and this statement is true that some uh, under project Cheetah few animals were translocated from South Africa and Namibia to Puno National Park. It is situated in Maharashtra. We have just seen that it is in MP, Madhya Pradesh. So, only one statement is true. Okay. And the last question for today's segment is, uh, there are few communities which are given here and then there is list of countries they belong to. Madhesis, Rohingya, Metis. Okay, and these are the location given. Why these particular communities are in use is because uh, with Rohingyas, they, uh, we have al always seen that uh, this uh, relocation issue was there. Ethical cleans cleansing was being performed with them. Uh, Madheshi was in news because of the Nepal's constitution. So, these are basically your contemporary issues you can see here. Uh, we have discussed in the last video that Manipur's valley area is dominated by Metis and the other part is dominated by Nagas and Cookies, Nagas, Cookies, Zomi and some extent Mizo. Okay? And the valley area is dominated by Metis. Metis are politically dominant there. And there is some violence being going on uh, because of this clash between these communities. So, 
you can see that methis belong to manipur for more details you can refer to the last episode then we talk about this madhesh madhesh is the area which is bordering with india and forms part of nepal it because it was been gifted by britishers in different times to nepal because of their service in the military uh, like uh, british gifted this particular part in 1860 to suppress nepali uh, regiments has ha offer help in suppressing the sepoy mutiny in india and then this part was given to nepal in 1816 uh, in the lieu of 2 lakh rupees per annum so this area basically earlier formed part of mithila okay which was ceded to nepal by britishers okay and uh, after that it was with the nepal Cul the culture of this particular part resembles to the mithila region of india okay so you know that madheshi is form part of your nepal it is a com community from nepal and then when we talk about uh, rohingyas we know that they are from the rakhine state in uh, myanmar and there is some ethical cleansing which was in news in last few years so they are being fleeing to uh, bangladesh and other nearby areas like malaysia indonesia okay and there was this uh, basar char island which was here somewhere it was given for the relocation of this uh, rohingya people from bangladesh to this particular island so here we will see madhesis are from nepal and then rohingyas are from myanmar methis are from manipur which of the following pair given are correctly here it should be incorrectly incorrectly matched you can say uh, rohingyas and manipur this is option c is the answer 2 and 3 are incorrectly matched madhesis are from nepal so it's correct so let's see the practice question consider the following statement operation 3 netra was an anti military operation carried out in punch area suran kot area in jaksa range act as temporary transit camp or training camp for insurgents these are your options you can answer in the comment box so that's all for this uh, segment we'll see you in the next episode till then have a good day thank you